Not all of us can have a huge kitchen with tons of storage. Whether you are not at the financial point in your life to have this, or you genuinely like tiny kitchens, you will still get to the point where you need more storage. Welcome to Jensen's DIY, and here are 24 small kitchen storage hacks. 1. When you have a tiny kitchen, having enough space for everything is usually a challenge. While you may feel that you may not have enough room for all your pots and pans, especially if you are downsizing, a pegboard is perfect. You can hang up several pots, pans, and any other kitchen tool that you would need. Plus, it looks really nice. 2. Instead of buying a knife block that is going to take up room on your counter, invest in a magnetic strip for your knives. Not only will you be able to display them in front of you so that you can easily pick out which one you are going to need, but there is something really sleek about having all of your kitchen knives on display. 3. When you have a small kitchen, cabinet space is not your friend. If you are a big cooker or are downsizing from a larger kitchen, you may not know where to put all of your pots and pans nor do you want to get rid of anything. If you aren't interested in pegboards, then can come save the day when you don't have enough cabinets. 4. You will find that a common theme of any tiny kitchen is a lack of cabinet space. Your spices help transform your dishes from bland to fabulous, but where to put them all? Instead of putting them in your cabinet or buying a spice rack for your kitchen table, Buy one that can go on the wall, so you have easy access and you free up your cabinets. 5. Make the most out of your cabinets with rolling shelves. Instead of having it where your cabinets under your sink only have one surface, make it two. This way you make more room for more to fit into while making it convenient to get in and out of. 6. There is no reason why you can't utilize the inside of the doors on your cabinets. Whether you build bars to hand spoons and such from, or even build little shelves to put spices on, you want to use every inch that you can. Remember, you have a smaller kitchen, so you need to think outside the box sometimes when it comes to storage. 7. You already stick magnets on your fridge when you want to put up a note or a drawing your kid made for you. Put magnets on things like plastic trays to create your own shelves on the side of your fridge. This way you can put in other little knickknacks that would normally take up space on your kitchen counter. 8. Depending on how tiny your kitchen is, you may not have room for a dining room table. You don't have to stress about where you're going to eat because you can install a wood board against the wall and place stools in front of it as a makeshift table. It could also be another area for you to place items on where you normally wouldn't have the counter space. 9. As another means of creating more room for your kitchen is a kitchen cart, specifically one that rolls. Why? Because not only will this provide extra counter space for your cooking needs, but it will also provide extra storage, which will come in handy with a small kitchen. 10. By lining the perimeter of your ceiling with shelves, you're giving yourself better storage for the heavier duty equipment, such as crock pots, slow cookers, or even panini pressers. It's high enough to not obstruct anything in your kitchen, while also giving you that extra room so everything isn't crammed in your kitchen. 11. It's somewhat of a trend now that you see the corners of the cabinets being utilized with Lazy Susans. What this allows for is more room to put your pots and pans in an area that others would not be utilized. You will also be able to access your pans with this easy way. 12. Oftentimes, if you have cereal or pet food, the bags are bulky and take up a lot of unnecessary room in your cabinets, or even on top of your fridge. By putting these food items in containers, you are reducing the room that it takes up, while also keeping your food fresher. 13. This is similar to the idea of the rolling shelves. Oftentimes, when you have a kitchen that comes with shelves, they're spread apart and there really is no need for that. How to remedy that? By literally putting shelves inside of your shelves. This way you have more room and are able to fit more in where you wouldn't have before. 14. It's all about creating more storage space in your kitchen without compromising space. With a narrow rolling cart, you can store it next to your sink or stove and be able to put in more items that you would have anywhere else. 
It also means that things are well within reach for you, instead of storing some essentials away in a cabinet. 15. There are some great innovations when it comes to architecture. Even more so now for tiny spaces, as the tiny home movement has gained popularity. Do you have room for a kitchen table, but would prefer it not to be in that space when you are not using it? Have a fold down table installed in the wall so that you can use it when needed. You can fold it up when it's not in use and have that area to freely walk around so to not clutter your kitchen too much. 16. The cabinet space under your sink can also be utilized, including the inside of the door. You can actually use a shoe organizer to store things like sponges and other little items that would take up space when it doesn't have to. 17. If you have room on top of your cabinets, such as a space in between the cabinets and the ceiling, utilize that. If you can get any baskets of your choosing and store items in there and tuck them in that space for more room. While you can just simply put the item on top of the shelves, you want to keep things organized and neat, hence the suggestion of the baskets. 18. Your sink is a perfect place to have a wall-mounted sink caddy. Not only is it giving you the ability to free up some space, but you are also having your items within reach and right out in front of you. 19. If you notice, it's a huge trend to suspend your kitchenware. Whether this began as a practical function, a decor piece, or something else, it's caught on. You can install a tension rod in order to hang your pots and pans. This way, you free up cabinet space, where these items would normally take up a bulk of the space you'd have them in. 20. As you can tell, this article is all about the shelves. A simple over-the-sink shelf may seem like it won't make that big of a difference, but it actually does. Freeing up space and allowing you to put more on it is the whole point. 21. This is a really cute idea to get your spices out of the cabinets and free up space. With the purchase of a magnetic board and just making a little bit of an adjustment with your spices, you can have your spices free floating and really bring an artistic feel and look to your kitchen. 22. This is an out-of-the-box solution for those who are running out of space. Attach your jar lids to the underside of your cabinets and have your jars hang. This way you are freeing up your cabinets or pantry and you can really make a great decoration statement when you have friends or family come visit. You can have out what you use the most and not have to worry about digging through clutter in order to retrieve anything. 23. It's your business how much you actually drink the wine that you have in the house. But if you are not using your wine glasses every day, that glassware is taking up some valuable space in your cabinets that can be used for something else. That's why you should consider hanging your wine glasses and other stemware from a suspended rack that can not only hold glasses, but your wine bottles as well. Have a lovely looking statement piece while being able to use the cabinets for other items. 24. Installing pull-out kitchen drawers is a great way to utilize that fake panel that has absolutely no reason for being fake. With a little bit of construction, you can get a functional use out of it and use it for more storage than you thought possible. You can easily pull out this rack-like cabinet and you will be able to put it in whatever you want. And that's all for now. What do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. For more decorating and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.